Alrighty, so as you can see, there's a little disclaimer at the beginning of this video. So, this has a nude model in it, as you can now see. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't initially do this video with the intention of drawing a character. It was only once the pose was down that I went, I have a character who would stand in this pose. Uh, which means that you don't really know anything about the universe that this character comes from. And I can't fill you in on too much because it's not a universe that is explicit me explicitly mine. <laughs> um, this character, her name is Cassandra. She comes from a universe that I developed with a close friend of mine. Uh, she is planning on having a YouTube channel, but does not at this moment. Um, and hopefully we can kind of explain that world to you, because I want to draw those characters for you guys so you can see them. Because I love them, I have so many characters in that universe that I adore. Um, but this character, this lovely lady that I'm drawing, is a villain. Villain. Villain, villain, villain. Villain, villain. Um... I am actually really in love with how I did this pose. I think the face didn't come out exactly like I wanted it, but I think in terms of anatomy, I'm pretty proud of how I, how I did. Um, I'm not perfect with anatomy, and I think the fabric could use a little work, uh, the fabric around her, but you know what? I don't mind it. I don't mind it. So I did, before I went in and did the... Even the clothing sketch, I went in and added the basic shadows um, while still looking at the reference. And I think that was really helpful in maintaining those shadows in the larger piece. Because I think when I use references, I tend to kind of forget pieces of it when I'm further along in the, in the piece. And it, it gets really distracting and kind of muddy, and I think I lose a lot of that shadow. And that's something that I'm working on is... Um, kind of figuring out how to make my drawings a little bit more dynamic in terms of contrast and lighting. Um, but I will tell you a little bit about this character. So this character is Cassandra, and she is a shapeshifter, and she's also a little bit insane. Um, a lot of her motivations throughout the story don't really make all that much sense, <laughs> not gonna lie she she's always been kind of crazy and considering she's been alive for centuries that's not it's a long time that she could have gotten help but she won't um she's sadistic and obsessive once she has her sights set on something she doesn't stop and it's problematic because most of the time she has her sights set on violence um, <laughs> so Cassandra is one of the initial villains, uh, throughout the, the little series that my friend and I have created. So she's not the most difficult, uh, of the villains, but she is still definitely a force to be reckoned with. Um, she's very much so the kind of seductress style villain, um, which... I personally really enjoy those kinds of villains. I don't know why. I just, I find it fun that she's just kind of going, hey, guess what? All of your preconceived notions, screw you. I'm going to be badass. And I know she's the villain and you're not supposed to root for her, but I like her, okay? <laughs> I think it's, it's good to have a healthy like for most of your characters. I think she's a terrible person, but I like her anyway. Um, she is, uh, she's kind of based around uh, Monica Bellucci in my brain, uh, except she has these creepy ice blue eyes, and I love it. Um, she's very pale and has these ice blue eyes, but I don't think I did the face that much justice. And then here I'm adjusting her eyebrows because they were looking way too friendly. Okay, they were looking way too friendly. <laughs> it's amazing how um, the eyebrows can really change uh, what you see in a facial expression. So it can go from very soft and sweet and demure to, you know, um, angry and in just a matter of the corner of the lips and the tilt of the eyebrows. So I think that's very interesting. I definitely enjoy 
messing around with eyebrows. Um, I don't have a whole lot that I want to say about this drawing, so most of this video is just going to be some audio in the background. I do have a couple other things in the works, but right now I am pre-recording some videos because I am going into finals season here this month, so <laughs> it's going to be crazy, but also it's my birthday month, so I'm going to try and just have as much fun as I can. Um, but I also want to give you guys videos. So I am pre-recording a couple of videos so that you can have some stuff to watch this month. And I hope that you enjoy them. This does mean that some of your comments won't be factored into some of the videos that I'm recording because I'm just recording them beforehand. And, you know, that's life. That's what people say. Uh, you're riding high in April and shot down in May. And for any of you guys who get what I'm referencing, I'm proud of you. You get 10 awesome points. Um... But that said, I don't really have too much to say in this video, so I will leave it to the music. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you can always find the music in, that I use in my videos in the description. Um, and if you want to know why I'm coloring her green, you can just ask me in the comments. <laughs> why not? Uh, that said, have a good morning, evening, afternoon, nighttime, time of day. I will catch you guys in the next video if you subscribe and turn on my post notifications. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you've turned on my post notifications. I want to know because you guys are awesome. My notification squad is awesome. Alright, I will see you guys next time.